Hi guys, in this video we will continue our journey on creating a project in Hotwire and we will add some other stuff like last time we added a PG or paginations but now we will add a simple form which is the most popular gem in using the form. The good thing in the simple form is it is a flexible in terms of designing and then you have a YAML that you can create also. Um, you can easily customize the class and then at the same time um, you can easily do the design and collections and this is the gem that I'm talking about simple form and you can find in the other uh, blogs that how to use simple form but in this case we will add this one and uh, yeah and just before we dive in we will look on what we are currently using we are using if you're a new developer in Ruby on Rails uh, we are using a form with and this is documentation it is super nice and it's powerful also uh, but I found that uh, most of my project now I'm using a simple form so it's easy and uh, can easily customize so let's begin how to use it in our project I will uh, try one in our I think we will add in the task and then from the task we can uh, uh, customize we will add on the other form but I will show you to you how to how to call it to add in one of the form and then I will continue on the project and the other uh, how to call it form that we need to customize in here so first thing first I need to add this uh, jump simple form um, let me pull out my this one let's go in here so you guys can see it so I'll go terminal and then I will go here. I created a um, branch which is simple form, and then I will add this gem uh, gem file. Let's go to gem file, and then I will add in here a simple form. And then what says on the documentation that we need to do a bundle install. In my case, I used to bin and bundle install. And then once it's done, we will move to uh, installing the uh, uh, to generate simple form install okay this is done and uh, we added a simple form and now I will add the um, generator and uh, we'll add in here I will add bin um, because I changed the configuration of my local machine uh, you can run also if you're using Windows I think it depends on your configurations now I'm using bin because I added some in the RVM and for the docker so i'm using bin uh, slash rails then if i was install in here and then i think uh, for bootstrap 5 oh, we made a mistake although we can try this one because i think i must run this one instead of only plain uh, generator so because we are using as um, bootstrap 5 uh, support if you want to configurations rerun the generation okay let's do this one to rerun okay let me do rvm rvm list and then i'm using 3.4.1 and let me go to my gem so yeah uh, i forgot this one i forgot to put the bin because I'm using different so that's why it's asking me this is the gem file why you're using 3.1 okay so we added this one so we have a simple form RB we have a for the bootstrap that you can configure uh, simple form YAML which is I can show it to you later how does work and we have a scaffolding how design of a form so now I will go to uh, to customize the form okay and then what else yeah we're gonna go to simple form simple form and then from here I can customize this one actually it is easy how to do it and but I don't want to elaborate a lot so you're using HTML5 you have a placeholder you can customize um, the wrapper you can do also a specific um, let me pull out my other project so simple form so I can uh, we can customize some other um, I think I think this is fine you have a browser validations error notification using div 
Okay, and let me go to simple form uh, bootstrap and I will copy paste on my other project and let's go in here uh, simple form bootstrap.rb and then here I will copy paste my other project because we, I have some design in here that I added uh, for example uh, config uh, button class you can define what class is that uh, label you can do a global form check label and so on and then you have a different wrapper in here uh, it means the wrapper is like a you have a, a different classes and from that different classes this is how you can uh, use the specific field for example you have a form in here and then you will define here the class and then on that wrapper you have the uh, what kind of is that HTML5 is that read only um, you have a, a classes a form check input uh, and so on so you have a different a uh, customizations in there for example like what it says the wrappers you have a, a ready button for example this one and you have a what else for the input for inline radio buttons and you have a vertical design that you can just put in here instead of in in the form width you put the uh, classes in here one by one this in the uh, simple form you just need to put a how do you call it a uh, like f that uh, input something like that i will show it to you and later in a bit i kind of forgot some other details there and what else um yeah i think that was it because this already customized and i already did uh, from the previous so now i will do a uh, form with four or a simple form i'm uh, sorry simple form four so here this is how we're gonna do it um, i'm gonna copy paste this one and i will go to uh, to our codes a simple form and then from that simple form let's go first in the task and then the form I'll customize this one simple form and then it says in here that we have a model I can remove actually I can let me go back again to the documentations to make it clear so at user I think we can we can define in here directly at model and I think we can also remove let me pull out some other design so it's quick so I have a design on my local machine, this one. So this is easy. So we have HTML. So let me pull out here and then let me add it this one. Um, what is the format they have? I have. So do like this I think yeah then at the same time I think I can call this one as a task to edit where is that they can show form project uh, turbo stream from and we have an edit in here where is the render of the form of the task you can look that later and then I can remove the, this one and what else so we can remove this one we can remove this one and then I can add it some customize in here we have submit so we are good and uh, we have also select and text area I will check how we can do the text area uh, text area text area so we can use a text area we can do a f that text we can do I think we can do here f uh, input I think we can do an input where is that the area text you can do after text and then you can go back f input f input what we're gonna input in here 
which is the body and then you can do as uh, text let me try this one first before we move on mm -hmm. Text. And then we can add here the wrapper that we have, and I think I can I can just copy paste this one so it's done also. So I have a wrapper HTML which is in the column of MD12 and 11, and let's try first how this work and if this is working or not. And let's go in here and let's go to terminal. I'll run my rails, bin rails, and then if I go here, localhost, and I kind of forgot our, let me add this one, uh, bin rails C. And then user that all. So we have one user which is Ryan at gmail.com. And then I will add in here. I think we have a password. Or forgot it. Uh, let me do this one. Okay. And then here we have a project that is in here. So we have an argument. So let me debug in the project show. Let's go to the project show. So these are project show. And it says in here we have a form, a task. So we can use task. So let's see task a task. Let me. So in this problem, I think we need a bracket. Uh, not bracket. Um, this one, and I think we need to add this one, and uh, I think that was it. And then we have a simple form, we have vertical form, and we have a body, and we have as a text of this body because this is a uh, text area, which is based on the documentation we are using here, the text area. We can use the text and then if you are using email you can do email let's say in this case you have a as email for example but um, this one is the text so we will use text and i think that was it on this one and if you will go to our uh, checkpoint go here and this is what we have so I created the minutes ago how to use this one so I'm gonna delete this one let's see if it still work and we have a body for example this is a simple form simple form and then create and then you can edit still uh, update and this is using hot wire okay and now we can uh, customize this select uh, if not mistaken we are using collections in here um, let me look on the collections how we can use that collection so we have a collections I think how we can put the collections this one I think we can add the collections like this let's see if it does work and um, it says we need a input of the status input and then we have oh sorry we need to have the status and then we have a collections it says collection so and then uh, I think we can do a collection because we don't have enum on the um, task status I think we don't have Oh, yeah we don't have an enum in here so it's still customized in here so what I'm gonna do is copy paste this one uh, what we can do is uh, to do an array so it will convert as an array as a uh, because this is an array 
and if I do this so we have a to do on progress and completed we can do also um, in our task we can add the enum which is to do on progress and completed I can show to you how to do that next time and from this we have a new design I think so yeah this one so now if I edit on this one I will put to do and update the task so we can see here that this is updated and I think we can print in the show of this one um, let's show this one and the status why it is not showing the body and the status is it showing five minutes ago updated uh, I think this one it says completed but it doesn't show in here so let me check what's going on is this a card so we have a show we have in here the form the task and then we render this one on the project task so if i'll go here a task body um let's put this one test so i can see where is that so this one so we know that one is hiding so let me it's still not saving so let me check what's going on in the form so when we save this one let's look on the logs so you know how to check the logs um, where is that is in here in the terminal and when I save that one let me go in here let me create the edit and go to on progress let's see what it says on the logs and let's go to inspect so we can see it and it says update but I don't have the update and if I go on the logs it says where the user and the task controller set I did no template found in the task controller show is rendering head no content hmm I don't know why we don't have that and uh, if I go here we have a turbo stream let me check yeah, I think we know the issue in here and that uh, we use the array instead of we can just easily make like this and uh, let's say we have a to do and we have a on progress I think you can can you just prog on progress and uh, we will add this one and uh, we will add is completed so you can customize this in the uh, next couple of videos to add the status and the task as a enum so we can just call in here in the collections like a I think you can just do if you have an enum you can just do a task and then a status or statuses and then key then to add a something like that so here let's see if this will work and uh, if I will go here if I select the to do so let me do this is test and if I create it so we have a to do if we customize in here and let it on progress so you have a on progress and if you customize here as a completed and then you can complete it so I think that was it on the how to call it simple form and we can make a, another design card body let me put card in here how this gonna work uh, okay so you have a card in here on the top and we can customize this one in the next couple of video but we will um, further low on this video and uh, yeah you can add in here because I'm using a big screen so that's why you can uh, then okay let me customize that um let me put here 12 as an example so we have here the body and this okay so and then we will go to simple form so we can customize the uh, the label so it's easy for us 
for example uh, this one uh, we'll put the label so if we look in here we have a uh, project if I edit this one sorry we are on the task let's go here and where is the task that we created I think this one okay anyway so this we don't have a data on the task so we have a body in here and we have an status we can easily change this one so let's say you have a global set of the form and uh, I will use the task and then I will uh, call it I will call it as a we have a body I think let me check the task a schema and if I go to the task we have a body of string and we need to use the body and I will say uh, task um, descriptions say that and uh, let me go to the labels is that correct label so I think we need to put a singular only so we have a task descriptions and what else we have a status and we have put a status uh, progress as is an example so we have a status in progress so instead of um, putting everyone in here let's say you, you can put the label in here so if you want to customize and say test the status so it will customize as a test but if you want it in global so for example if you want a another language like a spanish or let's say italian you can easily customize using the simple form uh, YAML and you can just put IT, EN and so on so unlike if you have a only in here uh, let's say you put label and if you have another languages that is uh, issue not an issue then you need to create a another YAML for the form width and you have a lot of customization in simple form it's already provided to you you just need to change let's say if you created another um, language you can just put simple form uh, that it that it and that yaml and then it will just fetch in here and if you want to customize and specific um, information of the form you just put the label that test and a good thing in simple form it is super easy because uh, you don't need to have a lot of HTML in here and you can customize it fully so in the next video or uh, I will not show to you the video but I will customize this a, a simple form also in the project and what else and some other part of the form but for now this is your example that you have using simple form you have a task that assigned to the project and then it called it task but and then you have a f in uh, f input body you have a as a text if you are using email use emails you can create also validations in here and you can add a required through if it is required and what else yeah you can customize a lot and let's say placeholder what example of the ui we can go in here we can add the placeholder for example um, placeholders let's say we do a task and we put the body uh, please input uh, this is example description type here it's an example so if you can see here this easily shows in here and then what else um, yeah I think you can customize also the button um, I think you can do a helper so instead of using create task you can say in just an example we can go helpers and then I put task uh, sorry submit button because that's submit and then I will use task and then I will use let's say create and then if we say create you put save and if I say update because when you are in edit you can do an update and what else um i think that was said for the meantime and if i refresh this one um 
Let me see, that's correct. Uh, Hopper submit task create. So it didn't show yet. Let's see if I can create in here for the meantime. If it will show. Edit. Update task. Yeah, create and update task. But I think what's going on in here. Let me see. Okay, it seems this is weird why it's not working to my cool um, helpers but normally you have a helpers and then you have a submit which is the submit button and then you have a model which is the task and then create save and update um, I will check this one in the next couple of video how we can solve this why what is going on and uh, although we have also some issue in here because when we hit save uh, without any data what's going to happen is it will save the empty data which is not really good so but for now what we can do also is to add in here also the collection i think prompt how do you say it um prompt sorry uh, prompt Let's add this one the collection. So it's nice that we have in here. Select uh, select status. So we have in here. I don't know what's going on on my yeah, select a status. And then what we can do here in the task is we need to validate. Um, Let's see. Um, let's see in here. I'm going to pull out one of my validations, which is I will add in here on the task. Wait, we have a body, and then we have a. I'm going to put here. Uh, 3000 is that body yeah we use body descriptions so here as you can see in here that we customize so this one is in a simple form we have in here this must be required so you can see in a simple form it is automatically put in here as a required I think I want to show that one required um, Where is that the persistence? Oh yeah, because it's automatically created in here. So what happened is when I put in the body, um, instead of putting required in here, it is automatically. But if you want to design, you can customize um, the informations in here, and you can put uh, not asterisk, and also you can customize the design. Uh, using the simple form simple form bootstrap I think you can do require in here yeah uh, text label lambda yeah and what else yeah I think that was it so here if I submit because we have a required now and when I click submit missing template in the show okay it is now it show what's going on Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's go back in here. And if we create this one, it says the project show template is missing. I think because of the render is a project, it is a singular instead of plural. So I'm gonna go here and the projects controller. And then I will go to, sorry, in the task controller. And then we're gonna add here a project show. And then let me, uh, do this let me go back because we are using hot wire in here and then if I click create so what's going to happen is the the good thing in a simple form when this is required it goes in here in the message so there is a uh, I forgot how you call it in uh, using the hot wire so before using a jQuery um, it's easy using simple form but 
like say I created a task and this cannot be blank it goes showing here and it's very neat and it's very clean unlike in a form width you need to have a pop-up in here and some other validations that you need to build in this one I didn't build anything I just added to my validations in the model of the task so now I cannot pass to create because it uh, sending to me hey uh, you cannot be blank um, this data in the body or the descriptions of the task so now if I add it in here this is test and then I create it to do and when I create and then it goes in here and then I can edit also I can uh, use blank in here and it will throw let me go back in here let's just fix the couple of video because we have a long video now and uh, our focus is to add a simple form and but now I think we are good we can delete and that was it and thank you so much for watching and please uh, share the video okay thank you so much and see you on the next video we will uh, add some other functionality in here and we can customize some other part like um, simple form simple form how to use simple form in the login and to registrations so yeah i think that was it for now and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video